Hello, everyone. My name is Jerry. Today, I want to share a story about my own metamorphosis, how living in different cities and the love for music helped me grow, adapt, and find a purpose in promoting cultural heritage music on the world stage. I was born and raised in the vibrant city of Chengdu, known for its casual and calm lifestyle. The six-year-old me would never have imagined standing on stage here today, sharing how a series of life-changing experiences helped me grow and taught me the power of change. I was born in the city of Chengdu, and my life was uprooted when I was six years old, when my parents decided to move from Chengdu to Guangzhou to pursue their dream career. Imagine being interrupted from everything familiar, from friends and from the environment you've known for your whole life. In the new city, I didn't have any friends my own age, I couldn't speak Cantonese, and I felt lonely. For me, who had just started learning piano and cello, it became extremely difficult for me to learn them again. Although I spent a lot of time practicing every day, little results were achieved. My shy personality also caused me to be even more silent in a new environment. Within just a few years, I transferred to various schools in Guangzhou, and all these processes involved re-familiarization, until I transferred to the American International School of Guangzhou, AISG. This is an environment full of love and knowledge. At AISG, every student with their own interest has the opportunity to express themselves. With the encouragement of my teachers and classmates, I joined the school orchestra with my unpolished cello playing skills. It was the first time I stood on stage and cooperated with my teammates. It was also the first time that I truly engaged in music and could play so wonderfully with everyone. Since then, my confidence greatly increased and I found my passion in music. Music has shaped my personality of cheerfulness and confidence and taught me how to persevere. These qualities later allowed me to achieve academic excellence and make a lot of close friends here in AISG. In 2023, I once again made the most important decision in my life. To complete high school in Hong Kong, Music became the best bridge to connect me with this new environment of my life. I no longer worry about unfamiliar environments, language, and cultural barriers because music is such a powerful language that has no communication barriers. At the new school, I quickly joined the symphony orchestra and formed a music interest group with my classmates who also love music. Recently, I went to Hangzhou to perform with the school symphony and performed with the Hong Kong Philharmonics at the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Here, I gained the respect of my teachers and classmates through music and saw people from all walks of life who persist in their music dreams after work. Music, once again, orchestrated a great beginning of a new chapter of life. Music plays an important role in our history and culture. My teacher combines traditional Cantonese opera with modern music and has always insisted on promoting Chinese culture. Inspired by him, I am eager to think more deeply on this. As a music lover, what responsibilities should I shoulder? What can I do about this? My trip to Guizhou during the past few years helped me find the answer. In the Dong village of Liping, Guizhou, I discovered the grand song of Dong which is a UNESCO World Intangible Cultural Heritage. This is one of the treasure troves of traditional Chinese music and is one of the seven intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding in China. It is a harmonious, multi-part chorus without a conductor, describing the lives of the Dong people in the fields, under the drum tower, and during festivals. The economy of the Dome village is not developed, and the information there is relatively unavailable. However, for more than 2,000 years, the Dome people used this music to orally preserve all of their cultures and languages. 
This is the power and inheritance brought by music. I realized that through music, I can create a bridge between the ancient and the modern, the local and the cosmopolitan. I found a mission in promoting this unique music not only to the people living in the bustling cities, but also to those who have lost touch with their own cultural heritage. To conclude, my story is a metamorphosis of perseverance, pursuing one's passion, and transformation. Changing location could bring more challenge to overcome, but having to adapt to different environments every few years made me more resili resilient and gave me more time to devote to my passion in music. Although my life has been a journey of moving, what stays the same is music. It helps me to express myself, find confidence, make friends, and earn respect. But most importantly, it helps me find a purpose to promote traditional cultural and musical heritage to the world. Thank you. <laughs>